Hey SmartSuite people, my name is Artem, I'm a product manager at SmartSuite and today I want to show you how I use SmartSuite in my everyday work. Let's dive in. As you would imagine, we have multiple teams working on different areas of the product. And people are spread in different countries, time zones and even continents. So we need a single place where everybody can go to and see their current and planned tasks, scheduled releases, read company updates, etc, etc. And that's exactly what the control panel dashboard is for. And this is also my number one tool in SmartSuite. So let me show you. Let's start with the general tab. Here on the left we have the text widget that displays important dates and announcements so that everybody in the company could see them. Then next to it on the right we have upcoming releases. And not only it shows the schedule of upcoming releases, but it also makes it super easy to click through and see tasks that are associated with a selected release. Now, if I scroll down, I will skip the customer issue section for now. I will speak about it later. And let's talk about the team stuff. Here we have the vacations and days off calendar. So as mentioned, we work with many teams and many people. And people love to take holidays. So me and other project managers need to be aware of it so we could adjust our schedules accordingly. Next, we have planning tabs dedicated to each team. And we like to split those tabs in half so that user stories or the new stuff that we're building is tracked separately from the bugs that we are working on. And in both cases, I am using filter widgets extensively because they allow me to quickly filter by assigned person or a status that the task is in. And of course, tasks on both sides display essential information about status, assignment, estimated effort and priority. As a result, everybody knows what everyone on every team is working on right now and what is scheduled up next. So we get full transparency across the entire organization. Up until this moment, we were mostly talking about the planning side of things. But as a product manager, I work with documents a lot. And in fact, description is probably the most important part of every task because this is where we define what exactly needs to be done. And when we talk about description, of course, we mean smart doc field type. And I use it daily at the fullest extent. All of its features, add mentioning people, adding attachments, building tables, markups, all of this allows me to create and maintain the entire suite of product documentation in Smart Suite without the need to use any other type of software. And I absolutely love this. Here's another thing that I cannot imagine my daily work without – linked records. You probably know that in software development, bigger things or features often get split into smaller chunks which make it easier to schedule and implement them. Look at this task. It's linked to a feature called Vue.js. And what's interesting is that features are stored in a totally different solution and that solution is accessed by a different group of people, mainly management, sales, marketing, and those guys are not interested in all the implementation details. What they really need to know is when the feature is going to be available. And building linked records between two solutions, we combine those two worlds, so to speak, so that management has a real-time update coming from the dev tasks without the need to actually go and check those dev tasks, right? But here is more. On the feature level, we have a link to Kenny, which is our public roadmap where everyone can go and submit their feature requests. And having this link means that when this feature is going to be ready, we know exactly who we need to notify in Kenny about the release date. Linked records are awesome. But you know what's not that awesome? Customer reported issues. So let me show you how we handle those, but first... Every customer reported issue deserves a special treatment, of course. And I spend a good portion of my day reading and analyzing those. And as I showed you previously on the general tab, we have a dedicated section 
where on a daily basis, we track progress against each reported issue. And you can tell we are using our summary card widgets and progress metric widgets extensively. We also have some graphs here showing the pace at which new issues comes in and at which they are resolved. Now what's cool about this is that every record in the customer issue bucket is linked to our internal CRM system so that our sales and management teams have a real-time overview of any open issues for any account or any contact at any moment in time. Remember, linked records, transparency, all that. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope I made my day-to-day -day work with SmartSuite more transparent to you and also showed you how we use SmartSuite to build SmartSuite.